Chandu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of White King Granulated Soap present for your enjoyment, Chandu, the magician. And just as you enjoy listening to this radio drama of romance, intrigue, and high adventure... So will you enjoy using the soap we make, White King Granulated Soap. White King was the first washing machine soap ever made anywhere. When it was first perfected 30 years ago, it was a brand new idea because it was a granulated soap, not a bar soap. And it worked as no other soap had ever worked in a washing machine. No washing machine works any better than the soap you use. And today, White King, a good soap for 30 years, is improved in quality, better than ever. There are many soaps on your grocer's counters, but none like White King for your washing machine. You will love White King granulated soap. And when you buy White King tomorrow, save the box top and tell your friends to save their White King box tops too. In the oldest wing of Princess Naji's Cairo home, once the palace of a dynasty of ancient kings, Frank Chandler has come upon a parchment covered with the curious hieroglyphics of 40 centuries ago. With the parchment, Chandler hopes to lure Roxor to a small underground room in the palace wing and terrify him into disclosing the hiding place of Robert Regent. And Roxor, hoping to defeat Chandler's occult powers by means of black magic, has engaged an Egyptian sorcerer, Fuad. But he does not know that Fuad is really Chandler himself. Now from a dark street in the native quarter, a man runs up the stairs to Raksor's rooms. Chandu, the magician. I have important information. I will give you five minutes, no more, Douglas. I'm expecting someone else. I know. Fuad, the sorcerer. But when you hear what I have to say, you'll change your mind about hiring sorcerers. Something has gone wrong with your assignment to Mrs. Regent? Everything has gone wrong, Roxo. You may as well know it now. Chandler hasn't been out of Cairo for a minute. What is this? The letter you wrote in Naji's hand? He didn't believe it was hers. You're a clumsy fool. The letter should have been so well done, he could not fail to believe it was from Naji. I tell you, it's worse than the letter. Chandler knows I'm not Gordon Douglas. What? He knows Douglas was killed and where and how. Impossible. What's more, he knows I'm working. You will for tell you. me at once how Chandler learned these things. Oh, um, magic, sorcery, call it anything you like. You were to discover how he does these tricks. Is Mrs. Regent so charming you have forgotten? So will you listen to me? I am listening. And I want the truth. Either Chandler is the biggest faker on earth, or he's fooling around with forces nobody's meant to stir up. I'll never forget it. Must I listen while you describe your emotions? All right, believe it or don't. Chandler actually showed me Douglas's body, lying there in the shadows beside the temple in Rome. He didn't just say he knew it was there. He showed it to me in a crystal ball. Very well, you will not return to Rome. Chandler will have told the police. Does it mean anything to you that Chandler can do things like this? Why, he showed me this room. I heard our conversation the other day almost word for word. So... It is well I have found the sorcerer Fuad. You, not me. Oh, Roxor, you can't imagine... I do not deal with imagination. That is for weaklings. If sorcery can destroy Chandler, I will have a sorcerer. No doubt. You admitted the things he showed you were true. He knew they were. You utter imbecile. Oh, I'm sorry, Roxor. I know you have no use for failures. A moment, my friend. I am inclined to give you another assignment, perhaps more to your liking. Oh, it's not because this one was tough. It's just... Oh, I know now what it means to feel absolutely helpless. That's never happened to me before. If it happens to you in Istanbul, it will be the last Istanbul. time. Istanbul? You're going to let me try out the new gas? The gas? Chandler took the sample and the formula. No. Fuad will get it from him, but until he does, the work must go forward. Well, at least I can do something in Turkey. Trouble in the cafes, fights among foreign sailors. And you I... will find men who will act when I give the word. I won't fall down on this job. Who is it? It is Fuad, Monsieur Rasso. Come in, come in. 
Monsieur, I have learned... Oh, but I did not know you were not alone. Come in. So, this is your tame sorcerer. <laughs> I wish you joy of him. That can be left to me. You will see that your work is well done when the word comes. It will be. Well, I'll be on my way. It's been delightful meeting you, Fouad. Monsieur is very kind. Pinnegard, monsieur, what is that in your sleeve? In my sleeve? What? It's a snake and adder, the most poisonous snake in all. Selim! <laughs> Selim! <laughs> oh, you. You have a pretty crude sense of humor, Fouad. You pardon, Monsieur Roxo, I could not resist. He was droll, no? Fouad, you know I've been forced to deal with you to beat down Chandler with his accursed tricks, but I do not like it. I am a scientist. I understand things I can reason out, things of the mind. Monsieur, but you... all things are of the mind as the so angry Monsieur Douglas has seen. Even your voice reminds me of something unpleasant. My voice is not to the liking of Monsieur... Oh, I'm desolate. I wish I could remember who it is you remind me of. If it becomes important, Monsieur will remember but may I speak now of what I have learned only today? If it has to do with Chandler, yes. It is a secret most, how you say, most hidden. Will you come with me now and see for yourself? What? I cannot run about the streets of Cairo. All over the world are men I must move like the pawns they are. One unguarded word may destroy what I have built for the day of... I, I am too busy. Eh bien. Monsieur knows best. But that is a matter of profound regret. Well, what is the secret? Monsieur... Only tonight is the way unguarded. This is the moment, are you say, precise. Will you tell me what it is? It is more important to you than the formula for the gas. It is the very secret of the power of Chandu, the magician. What is this? You so quickly have uncovered the method of Chandler's trickery. May we? What if you lie to me, I promise you shall die in agony by my own hands. Monsieur Oxo, have I not agreed to discover this for you? What is it you want me to do? Only to come with me and see for yourself, monsieur. Where is it? Where? Go away, silly. Must meet no one. No one, you hear? Now for what? I have learned that under the ground in the ancient palace of the Princess Najee, there is a so small room. Within, a young girl sleeps. She has slept so for many, many years. So at least when you spoke of your knowledge of the black arts, you did not lie. I assure you, monsieur, I have seen her. It is said she was of Najee's family many thousand years ago, as men count time. Of a truth, she seems to be Najee herself. Why do you ask me to go there? I could have killed her myself, monsieur, and destroyed the power of Chandu. But if monsieur is with me, he could first ask her many things. Is it not that you would like to know? Enough. I will go. Selim! Selim! Tell all who come tonight to come again tomorrow at this hour. Now, Fuad, we will go out by the other way. <laughs> Here, monsieur. When we are inside, we may speak aloud. No one comes tonight. If you have led me into a trap, I will have you killed. Monsieur, so, so unfasting. I have waited long to arrive at a plan to injure Najee. Ah, how I hate her. You know Najee works with Chan. Ah, you have loved her and she has refused you for him. <laughs> Someday, Fouad, you will learn that emotion destroys you. Think for a moment of me. Rock sore. I do not love, I do not pity, and I shall rule the earth. Monsieur is to be envied. Down the stairs, if you will. There is another door below. One moment. I will open it. There is light inside. Uh, I do not like this, Fuad. I will do at once what is necessary. Monsieur, you see her? Not she. No, monsieur. It is the young girl of whom I spoke. Asleep for 4,000 years. It is impossible. Even if I could believe it. Where is the secret of Chandler's magic? How could this girl have a part in it? You see the flame burning in the golden bowl on the small table? Yes. When I have awakened the young girl from her so long sleep, perhaps she will answer all your questions. Wake her then. I do not like this place. I have only to clap my hands lightly, monsieur, over the flame in the bowl. And see, a week. Ah, I will do it. Awake, mademoiselle. Awake and tell monsieur the secret of Chandu. Did someone call my name? This is the word. 
work of the devil. Who are you? I am the daughter of the king. Amin Radha, priest of the temple, gave me the gift of sleep. You lie. You are Naji. Naji? I do not know the name of Naji. It is impossible that life could remain in your body after 4,000 years. I do not understand. But the gentleman, mademoiselle, he wishes to ask you many questions. Monsieur, it is better perhaps to speak to her of Chandu. It cannot be important what her name was in her life. Ah, this is like a nest of hornets buzzing in the head. Is it then true this room holds the secret of Chandu, the magician? It is true. I guard the sacred flame of Chandu. The flame in the bowl. Without fuel, it burns on and on forever. But you are strange in Egypt. Did Amin Radha send you to me? I am Roxor. When I have discovered two secrets, only two, I shall rule not only Egypt, but the entire world. You hear? I shall have power. I am power. I only guard the sacred flame. Whoever shall extinguish the flame destroys the precious secrets of Chandu and ends my life. This is true? The daughter of the king speaks only truth. Then I shall do it. Fuad, you shall see it done. I will take up the bowl and scatter the fire on the floor. I stamp on it with my feet so... The power of Chandler, whatever it was, is no more. It is ashes. And see, monsieur, the young mademoiselle spoke truth. She is dead. Good, good. Chandler can fight me no longer with his magic and his spells. One by one, I break them all. Now it is Chandler's turn. No one else stands in my way. There is one rock, sir. Still, there remains reason, huh? Ah, you have not forgotten him. Done well tonight, Fouad, then you will be well rewarded. But the regent is the last of them all. I will go to him, monsieur. I will work upon him all the spells of black magic at my command. Where is it you have hidden him? Where would I keep him? But in my own hiding place? But where is that, monsieur? You have not told me. Where should it be? But in the ruin near Algiers. <laughs> Before we bring to a close our drama tonight, may we say one brief word about White King Soap for summer wash days. The warmer the weather gets, the more dirt the youngsters seem to collect on their clothes. And that is when you need the wash day help of White King in your washing machine more than ever. For only honest-to-goodness soap suds can wash dirty clothes really clean. And if you think that everything that comes in boxes is soap, or if you think all soaps are pretty much alike, we suggest you try White King. You will find that everything from cowboy jeans to bright, pretty cottons, from bath towels to work clothes, comes out fresh and clean when washed in White King suds. White King washes off the surface dirt and washes out the hidden dirt the deep down dirt you cannot see. Try White King in your washing machine, won't you? Know what you'll say? You'll say this. I love White King. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chun. Do the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs>